Let's go. As the sun set on our previous one, now the yeah. sun is rising on this one. Did, did I do good? Tom and I spent like about uh, roughly a minute celebrating. No companions, no supplies. <laughs> we spent roughly a minute celebrating our stars victory, so now it's time we dive right into the next fresh hell. So I can't bring loadout cards and I can't bring companions, but there are tons of encounters. Oh, great. So um, I don't really know what to bring then, so I'm fighting empires and in confined spaces which doesn't really help anything all right uh, shit um i guess just start making it then <laughs> yeah i'll just add good stuff goblin town's good demon ari's good maiden's good um <laughs> yeah uh so i'm a little at a loss here so as i'm adding this um i came up with a little idea for a thing to talk about in this episode you son of a bitch i came up with that idea you son of a bitch i came up with that idea oh yeah that's right i forgot <laughs> <laughs> um so me and my friend patrick over here what they spelled with a q yeah um we <laughs> are seven l's <laughs> We like to listen to music a lot, and we mm -hmm. like to listen to bands that are known and are not known. Correct, yes. And we would like to um, just kind of go over some bands that we feel like should probably get a little more notoriety than they have. I'm guessing Patrick's going to have more than me, because I'm somewhat basic. <laughs> Um, uh, how do you... You can go ahead and start, so I can think of more things. <laughs> <laughs> Any idea? Okay, so, like... I guess straight off the bat, uh, someone I found, so the, I believe, guitarist of Oasis made his own band, hmm. Noel Gallagher. It's called Noel Gallagher's High Flying Birds. Hmm. It's, uh, it's very weird. I, I've only ever, I've only actually listened to one of his, I believe, four albums have come out so far. Hmm. Uh, they, that, but the album I listened to was actually really good. And uh, I, I would absolutely recommend uh, giving them a listen. The album that I really like is called Who Built the Moon? Which is the most woke album name I've ever heard in my life. <laughs> We're already getting the, on board with the conspiracy theories. But really, who did? Yeah. How how did it happen? Who built that laser that's currently on the moon? You know it's there. <laughs> yeah. Nobody, nobody can deny it. The Earth is flat, there's a laser moon, and uh, gravity doesn't exist. Yeah, why are you just repeating stuff that's already well known? Yeah, I'm reading it. I'm reading a physics textbook right now as we're uh, playing the game. So sorry to uh, sorry to not bring that up for everyone. Mm. Basically, what I'm getting at is "Who Built the Moon" is a good album by Noel Gallagher's High Flying Birds. Let's see who else. Um, the Stone Foxes, no, another very quality one. Uh, you know them, right, Tom? Y yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, once again, I think. Um, I have a bad habit of only hearing one album by these by groups, so, and it, the same thing is true with the Stone Foxes. They have about, I think, five albums out right now, mm -hmm. and uh, the album I listened to is called Bears and Bulls, and the reason I listened to that is because it was related to the record company. I talk about the record company all the fucking time. Ask anyone. He does. I d d listen to them. God damn it. They only have one album. It'll take you 40 minutes, and you'll be a better person if you like you know, Southern Rock-ish vibes. Why would I ever like that? Uh, listen to the uh, listen to the record company. Uh, oh, maybe I will then. Exactly. Yeah, listen to uh while you're at it, give Bears and Bulls a listen to if uh, you got the time. It's kind of um uh, more not... like belongs in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> not not really country rock. It's more rock than country. Mm -hmm. I want to get that out of the way first. You know, it's not like you know Willie Nelson country music. <laughs> yeah. It, it's much more rock and roll. I'm not too big a fan of overly country stuff myself. Um, the Head and the Heart is also another one I can recommend. And I also found it because when I was purchasing the record company's album off Amazon, uh, they said, like, may we recommend Signs of Life by The Head and the Heart. And I listened to it, and I was like, thank you for that recommendation. That was a very good recommendation. Again, they have five albums. I've only listened to one of them. Oh, jeez, this is a weird-looking map. What the fuck is this? So uh, we're, we're hanging out with General Flint Hollow right now. He's the guy we got in the moon, yes? Yeah, he's the guy we killed in the moon. <laughs> oh, well then. <laughs> he's I you think we this. killed him. I thought... I or thought no, we were... he's, he's talking to us right now. Yeah, we were trying to like, get or him no, to the join hermit's, our team. The hermit's talking to us. I really thought we were trying to get Flint Hollow on our side on the moon, and that was the point of it. <laughs> uh, I can swap oh. companions at my campfire, so I can have companions? Maybe they'll go away after a while. Yeah. Maybe I just guess off. I'll start with because I don't really know what to go with here. Let's just go with 
Estrella, because she's good. Okay. Is she is she like your go-to soldier? Pretty much. So I have 40 moves until it floats. Go-to companion, rather. She is the soldier. Yeah. So I have to escape the sewers. Yep. So... Gablin Town. Head in the Heart. Very good album with that. And, uh... So mostly these are album recommendations, not full band recommendations, because I don't know the rest of them. But, hey, that's something. Yeah. These recommendations are, you know, primarily going to be for the rock and roll enthusiasts of the group, for me, anyway. Mm. Tom, you got anything to contribute yet to the story? Um, I have one or two. Um, oh, God, why did oh, I do Jesus. this? Oh, Jesus, huge failure. <laughs> All right, it got hurt. Okay. All Not right. so bad, considering it was a huge failure. Um, so, I have one band that I think that people probably will know of, but... It's surprising. It's a surprising thing to say. Yeah. So, just off the top of your head, are you familiar with the band Hanson? Yes, yes I am. Of Mbop fame? Yes, yes I am familiar with so, Hanson and Mbop. <laughs> so, Hanson kind of just never stopped making music. Yeah. <laughs> and some of it's actually pretty good. <coughs> oh, Jesus. He's got a... Oh, Mbop. Okay, I was going to say, like, man, he's got a really popular song. It's got 50 million streams and it's Mbop. Yeah, like, they were known for Mbop, which came out when they were, like, Preteens. Yeah, right. Uh, but like, they're actually a legitimate band, and they're not too terribly bad. So I'd say give them a listen. Okay, let's see. Their most listened to song with 50 million streams is Mbop single version. Their second one with 30 million views is Mbop. Uh, their third one is What Christmas Means to Me. Run Rudolph, run, and finally it's Christmas. Okay, so it's Christmas time. Yeah, right now. That might that might be affecting. Uh, oh, and they literally just released a Christmas album. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. So that's probably why it's uh, pretty popular right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, not huge. You're, you're gonna get. You're only. I'm gonna not. Get, a, I'm not about this life. Yeah, you're only gonna get like a fraction of a second to hit that gold. I think I'm trying to see if the timing will change at all. It's uh, not looking like. Oh it. wait, no, 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 you're getting a little bit more. Yeah, you got the, almost the full one right there. See? <laughs> well, like I said, Hanson's actually a pretty decent band now. They just released a Christmas album, so that's Give cool. Give them a shot. Uh, do you have? Do you know any albums off the top of your head? Yeah, I do. Oh man, what are you doing there, Tom? You're, re you're reaching in your pocket to uh, get your phone out, maybe? No, I'm not reaching in my pocket to get my phone out. I'm reaching in my pocket to get my iPod out. <laughs> no, to uh, to maybe maybe read off a couple of. Uh, I can't believe your phone and your iPod are not the same device at this point. I have an Android. Um, your your phone and your primary music listening tool. Okay, fuck it. I'm gonna just gonna try this here. Yeah, that's probably a good idea. You, you got to get it on one of the edges. You got to. Oh, it's beautiful. Anyway, back to Hanson. Yeah. It appears I must wait. Wow, Hanson has a lot of albums. Yeah, I know, right? Jesus Christ. The I... one that I've listened to is called. Yes. Uh, shout it out. Shout it out. 2010. 12 songs. That's not bad. Yeah. Not, could knock that out in it's like, an hour. It's kind of like upbeat, somewhat. A little rock, little kind of pop rock type deal. Pop rocks. Tastes great in your mouth, not in your hand. <laughs> Have you ever <laughs> sucked off Hanson? That shit pops in your mouth. <laughs> but not in your hands. <laughs> <laughs> my, my hands are so sweaty, it feels like I'm giving a blowjob when I'm just jerking you off. <laughs> Hello, everyone. I hope you enjoyed that. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. I was going, I, I'm glad you, you sandbagged that yourself, because I was just going to just stay completely silent after you just said <laughs> Yeah. I don't think that's a good tactic we have, purposely making the commentary cringy to joke with each other. <laughs> I don't think that's a good tactic. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> then again, who are we making these videos for? Yeah. But to indulge our own egos. That, that is true. Yeah. At this point, I'm not. I'm not. I wouldn't be surprised if you know, nobody watches us except for Dongan Rampa excluded. Yeah. Nobody watches us besides our own friend group at this point. If anything, this is this is to help us get through our Steam back catalogs. <laughs> Honestly, yes. That is one of the primary reasons. I'm like, well, now I have a way to like make an excuse to play video games more. More like steamy gamers. Oh hell yeah, dude. More like steamy shower. What? <laughs> Hello, everyone. More like, let me into your that's shower. When, that's when we make a guest appearance on uh, Chris's show, Weekly Wet Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, everyone. We're doing a Let's Play. We're all naked in the shower together. Let's play. <laughs> oh, God. The computer's dying. <laughs> the computer's dying? Yeah, because we're in the shower. Oh, okay. And I water, thought you actually and water's talking... getting all over it. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. This is a bad situation we found ourselves in. Just oh, no. Stop. Unpleasant so Hanson, and any, any, anything else you got going on there, Tom? 
Um, I mean, like, I, since I've been trying to think of them, I, I, could, I'm, I'm, I could look through my uh, my, yeah, my uh, albums if you don't know it. Hanson released a <laughs> Mbop guys released a Christmas album. Mbop, bop, ba, do, bop, do, do, bop, ba, do, do, bop, ba, do. As they said, Hanson, it Hanson of Mbop and later uh, Game Grumps fame. Yeah. Uh, let's see what what uh, artists do I have on here? Why is my first artist alphabetically wise three doors down? <laughs> Why do you have a three doors down song? Uh, it is Superman or Kryptonite that one. Um, um God, I have. A, see, that's the problem is all the song, all the bands I can think of are at least like decently popular. Do you know the band Airborne? No. They are. I think I got greedy. <laughs> uh, I don't want to say discount, but they are basically not nice. They are not as popular ACDC. Hmm. They are. They are a lot like ACDC. They have just like really cool hard rock guitar riffs for all of their songs. Their singer is somewhat unintelligible. <laughs> As you do. Yep, and it's just pure rock and roll fun. Hmm. Yep, I, I don't have a specific album. I've just listened to, like, some of their greatest hits. Uh, uh, Steven just texted me, holy shit, in response to us uh, finishing the Stars campaign. Uh, not to break the illusion, we do not record these every other day. <sighs> we are recording these, in fact, multiple in a row. We actually have Tom drive down every other day from uh, his place. That's messed up, man. I, I was going to say, I, I don't know how much information we've given out about where you live. I live in Michigan. Okay, uh, cool, yeah. And we live in Ohio, so we made Tom drive from Michigan to Ohio every other day to record a single Hand of Fate episode. It is ridiculously inconvenient. I, cannot... I am in debt from gas prices alone. I'm, just, I'm on my third car already. And then, like, every once in a while, like, we also convince him to drive down for an Isaac episode. So that's great. Oh, my hmm. dog's whimpering. Yeah, everyone, don't you just love hearing crying dogs in the background of I doubt that's getting picked up. Okay, well, just so you all know, there's a dog crying in the background, desperately wanting to come hang out with us. Well, maybe we should try to let him in. Okay, everyone, welcome. If things get too Spike bad, we'll again. get him away. Okay. Spike, you better not, you, you better not, like, make us regret this. So, how would you describe your dog, though? Very spindly and very breakable. Yes. Uh, I, I don't know how to properly explain this. His his dog looks like, like, if you only looked at his legs, you would say, my God, you are not feeding this dog ever. See, the problem is, is that it's a combination between two very spindly dog types of a Chihuahua and a Terrier. Or not Terrier, the, like a Greyhoundish. Hey, 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 no, 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 no that, those, are, those are for the chairs. Th those are to keep the chairs from moving on slick surfaces, dog. Okay, this is, yeah, this is already a mistake. This is already a problem. <laughs> Hello, yes, it's Spike, it's okay. Um, and I'm, and I'm the, I'm here alone. Yeah, hello, did you get that? Back. Did you get that thing from me? Uh, yes, yes, I did. Where'd you put I it? I placed it on top of the uh, chair over there. Cool. And then Thomas proceeded to move it farther, because apparently he doesn't trust my judgment. Uh, I don't trust this dog, is the thing. So that's great. Steven just threw your logic puzzle book back in a heap on the bottom yeah, of there. Yeah, it's from such a, a piece of shit. Callback, you remember those lo that logic puzzle episode? That was a good one. Yep. Uh, okay, wait, one sec. Uh, so, do you want to rip off people who are funnier than us, Tom? Yes. <laughs> All right. I was going to say, that that's just the bedrock of, like, good commentary right there. And, uh, you know, we're recording a lot of these in a row, so we need, we need something to do for content. So I want to try... I want to try my hand at this. Uh, let's start giving advice to people. Hmm. Are you familiar with my brother, my brother, and me? Uh, I've seen the couple of clips you've shown me. Okay. Yeah, they have a podcast. It's an advice show for the modern era. Uh. Basically, they just comb through. Uh, they get people to send them in Yahoo answers mm -hmm. about really dumb questions, and then they just, like, basically just ramble on about whatever the fuck. The rambling? They're stealing your shtick. I, I know, right? They haven't, they haven't, like, copyrighted the word like we haven't. Mm-hmm. So, uh, <laughs> okay, okay, that, okay, that's, uh, bad. I don't think we need to talk about that one. Uh, hey, Spike, you know, come on, man. Come on, we're recording yeah. something right now. Oh, my God, what? <laughs> what the fuck are these? You know what, this is just turning into a strange Yahoo Answers thing. So allow me to read off a couple of these. Mm -hmm. Why does that's North Korea hate the U.S.? It's like, fair answer, I suppose. Fair uh, question to be read there. 
I don't I don't know if it's good to like name it to like trying to make a comedy to, like make comedy jokes out of that, but it's because they are a horrible dictatorship. Okay, yeah, yeah. I don't think uh, I don't think they I don't think anyone would argue against They're, that. They've got ideals reminiscent of the Cold War era uh, Soviet Union. <laughs> Which brings me to this other question. Do Russians need to be bombed? That's, like, currently on the front page of Yahoo Answers right now. I see Yahoo Answers doesn't, like, take good care of, like, you only had to roll a six? <laughs> see, it's the thing. I, ha I had a... I had... There's a thing that says, have Estrella help you? Mm -hmm. And it, I can do that multiple times. <laughs> oh, here, here's an actual, like, nice one that we could just talk about. Yeah. What do you plan to achieve in 2018? Any good New Year's resolutions you got, Tom? I plan on uh, continuing to um, stave off the weight that I've lost. Right, yes. Fight against the monster that is obesity this whole time. Yeah. And um, try to, hopefully in the beginning of the year, move into a new apartment. Oh, really? Why is that? Because I don't like my current apartment. Why is that? Uh, for reasons I don't want to get into. Why is that? <laughs> All right, fair enough. Um, and I hope that works out. And maybe, who knows? Maybe actually get one of them, that one of them friends that's a girl. Huh. So like, you know, I, I don't follow. I'm confused. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> like girls make me confused and scared about myself. <laughs> I hope this uh, gameplay is entertaining, considering this is probably the 16th or 17th time I've done this exact same I, I pendulum know, like, gambit of it going slowly back and. Yeah, I didn't want to bring it up, but yeah. That's why the blocked passages have become so easy, because every time I do this pendulum, it reduces the total of 18 by 2. So I've just been doing this until it's down <laughs> oh, to like 6. Oh, that's why it was at 6. Okay, <laughs> I follow you now. Yeah. What the? This is the worst. But anyways, okay, so we don't really need to talk about really, it. Really, we just did the star, and this is the worst. I mean, like, it's not as bad as Justice. Hmm. But maybe that's just because it, we haven't hit the hour and a half mark yet. <laughs> I suppose. So, we'll see how that ends up going on. But yeah, as far as New Year's resolutions for me go, uh, so I'll... Wow. <laughs> as far as New Year's resolutions for me go, I, I will be done with my Masters by uh, the end of January. So I kind of want to hold off on any New Year's resolutions until I'm done with schooling. Oh my god, what is this shit? <laughs> now I'm in the prison. Okay. Okay, so... And we reach out of the sewers and the filth of the world and the And the empire is perhaps the misery of execution. Astral surveys the surroundings. Okay. So basically, my biggest New Year's resolutions... Finish There's the prison stairs. Those are prison stairs, yeah. I think I can just go over there and leave. Oh, this is like... You know, oh, we'll need keys from the jailer. Ah, oh, fuck. There he is. <laughs> and locked doors. Oh, oh. Fuck. Okay. It's not too bad. And we'll see what this encounter is. Prisoner. Mm, that makes sense, yeah, pretty much. Sorry, I don't have any keys. Yeah, my bad. Leave him shackled. Eyes you suspiciously. It's like, what? Fuck off, dude. <laughs> uh, so yeah, my biggest two uh, news resolutions. Finish my master's, get a job. That's a pretty good couple of things. Yep. Uh, hopefully, that will all be done... That will all be done decently quickly in the year. Mm -hmm. And then I'll have the rest of the time to... Well, uh, what I hope to do, uh, first off, get back into guitar. Because I have just... Put, I put a lot of stuff in my life that I have a lot of fun doing, like, on the back burner mm -hmm. in order to finish all this stuff up. So I really hope to get back into guitar, maybe convince some of my friends to form, like, a like a casual band. That'd be nice. Yeah, no, nothing big like, yeah, that's right, national touring. Of course. I yeah. mean, that's for later. Yeah, exactly. Once our YouTube channel takes off, <laughs> and then we can use that to advertise our, our music. Would it just be, like, a regular four-piece rock band or something? Uh, so here's the thing. Uh, good buddy of mine, Connor, he plays drums. Mm -hmm. He would totally be down. Our buddy Jason plays keyboard, or piano. So I'm sure, like, going from piano to keyboard ain't that, ain't that big of a stretch, right? Yeah, I guess. Yep, so, uh... Seeing a keyboard is, in fact, a piano. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, so, uh, my, my only thing now is... I'm a bassist. Mm. I, I, don't, I don't know a bassist. Like, one of us could start, uh... Oh, yeah, there's another one I could possibly I could, uh, start taking up vocal lessons. That'd be nice. Which I've wanted to do for a little while, but I've always been so busy. And right now, you know, my singing voice is not that good. Yeah, uh, come on. You're lovely. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. Uh, what, what song do you want me to sing, Tom? Uh, it's Old MacDonald. <laughs> <laughs> Old MacDonald had a farm. D -I -E -I oh, come on. <laughs> what? 
You're just joking. You can't be that good. I'll, I'm <laughs> joking about skill. Yeah, that's right. It was accidental. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I defeated a prison wraith. A prison wraith? What kind of jail is this? There are specters of the damned in here? Yep. <laughs> I'm, I'm scared. Three reveal encounter cards? <gasps> it's a cat. <laughs> There's Thomas the Ogre. I might just want to forego doing, going straight to that guy and do Thomas the Ogre. No, oh, okay. <laughs> Thomas the Ogre is just like, I'm on Rambling Gamers right now, can I call you back? <laughs> yeah, uh... This dog. You know, at least you're quiet. Which is, which is head and tails above my dog. Yep. Uh, what does Thomas the Ogre want? He's the one that, like, I, I pretend that I'm going to fight him and then just don't, and he'll let me do a bunch of games for shit. Oh, cool. I thought you had to kill him. Nope. Kill him. Like, there's no there's no downside to losing these. Two. <laughs> We've done it. And he's just like, want to do another? <laughs> <laughs> I'll play again. I like games. I'm gonna play Oops. Jax. Uh, can only reroll in one? Can't reroll into a four and a one. How about that? <laughs> that Thomas is, looks at you very disappointed. <laughs> yeah. This one's the easiest one to do. Alright. Oh, yep. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas is like, I'm so proud of you for doing this. You've done well. Uh, one sec, I gotta look up uh, other other Yahoo. Uh, and I got Alma. Questions. Uh, oh my god! It, 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 oh my god! These are really bad. <laughs> is being gay a choice? Do you consider heartbeat in the womb as a life? Uh, these are all the front freaking page of Yahoo Answers. I thought it was just a joke site with a bunch of dumbass people. I thought so too, but apparently today's just. In, yeah. the, in the waning days between Christmas and New Year's when we're recording, this is the day that people get philosophical and think about shit. I suppose so. I, why do conservatives love cops but hate teachers? Yeah. I didn't... I, I've never known about this. You know what? I'm not going to ask about it. I'll do my research on that topic later. It's... Uh, For not Yahoo Answers. Yeah, also, is this the... Is this the forum... To be discussing this kind of thing is Yahoo Answers. Uh, I, I don't know. The, Obviously, this is an Ask Reddit kind of question. Given the function f of x equals 2, x minus 1, x plus 2, x plus 1 squared, describe the roots of the graph. I have a feeling this guy might be asking for help with his homework. <laughs> what, are, what, are, what are you doing? I'm trying to answer it. What the fuck? We, we can't do math on the show, Tom. I need to see the graph. No, no. There is no graph. Oh. No, there is no graph, actually, because that's what he's asking. Oh, so he wants us to graph it and then find the find roots the roots from the graph. Yes. <laughs> what a bunch of crap, man! Yeah. Do your own job. I want to find. I want to find some really weird questions like they get on my brother, my brother, and me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, let's see. The question I don't understand. Live in Mississippi and got a ticket for possession of marijuana. I read online that it is decriminalized. Does this mean uh, first time possession doesn't show up on a background check? Please explain what they mean by decriminalized. <laughs> Now let's not get into the um, let's, let's not get into the politics of what if we think marijuana should be delegalized or not. Did you let's, almost say let's get into the lore? Yeah, <laughs> actually no, I didn't. Prison uh, mage. Fight some. Oh, let's get into why we think this man was ticketed. So I think the obvious first question to ask is, how much weed was this dude having on him at all times? Just because it was decriminalized, does that mean you can have like any amount on you at all times? Well, duh. Really? Yeah. So I can just, like, have 70 bricks with me. Yeah. I can. No. I, I was, I, I was going to say, like, why, why would I need that, though? At what point do people start getting suspicious? Like, yeah, it's it's technically legal, but what are you doing with 18 cinder blocks? Mm -hmm. And not even not even in, like, a truck where, where like, you know, it's your... <laughs> this is a very strange one. Let me just wait for it to get re-lined up with my beam. All right. That's that's how you and do it's this. Gonna be over. <laughs> and then you fail. And you try. <laughs> All right. I'm trying to convince him to give me the keys without having to kill him. <laughs> Go. Got he. Poorly All done. right. Poorly done. You Fuck off. Guards, guards, guards. Shit. Oh god, that's a lot of guards. I have to fight all these guys. Yo, yo, dog. Chill. Without my companion. Oh god. Oh, because you rerolled and tried again? Yeah. <laughs> this is gonna be anywhere between nine and fifteen enemies. <laughs> Alright, so uh back back to back to the question I'm posing. How much weed could oh, you Oh Jesus? How much weed could you carry around with you until people are just like, maybe you shouldn't have that much weed with you? <laughs> hmm. 
I, no, so how, how much wheat can you carry around with you and tell people like, yo, dog, that's too much wheat. You have fire bombs? But that specifically hurt empires. Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> I don't think that's the way you can do it. Okay, I think like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna call the cutoff a ton. <laughs> Yeah. Like, literally, you need a ton of marijuana. I'm assuming this guy was actually, like, walking around and, like, hit and, like, you know the, you know the one scene from, uh, fuck, Bruno Mars' music video, Grenade, where he's, like, hauling around the piano. Yeah. It's like that, but he's actually hauling around, like, a plate on wheels full of, like, a bunch of marijuana. Don't you love it when you're fucking smoking your marijuana on your marijuana plate? <laughs> yeah, and then you think uh, you think Bruno Mars got in trouble for that one? Maybe. K carrying around that piano was carrying around that weed. Yeah, was Bruno Mars's piano full of weed in the green? Does music Bruno video? Mars is weed? <laughs> 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 oh my God, that was that was was that a Yahoo Answers? I think so. Oh my God, that the rumor come out. Does Bruno Mars is gay? <laughs> That's just the worst ever. It's the worst one. Now here here's what I'm here's what I didn't know. Marijuana is decriminalized in Mississippi. I guess. You know where it's not? Ohio. Yeah, I was gonna say we're lagging behind Mississippi. I, I don't wanna. I don't wanna get too political about it. I just wanna smoke weed. <laughs> I've not done that before. Yeah, but if it's decriminalized, you do it with us, right? I, if it was decriminalized, I that, that's weird though. You're living in Michigan and it's decriminalized in Ohio. Do you think your place of employment would be cool with that? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, you know what? It's like, it's like, uh, Tom, you failed your drug test. Nah, man, it's cool. I got high with my friends in Ohio. Hey, come on, high's right in the name. Dude, we could totally change Ohio's name once marijuana gets legalized to Ohio. You're supposed to laugh at that, because that's funny. I was going to say, did, do you see just the genius of this man? Yeah. I had two plans. Either A, you didn't laugh and I told you to laugh, or B, you laughed and I'm like, why are you laughing? This is a genius idea. Yeah. This long cruise tourism, 100,000 <laughs> percent. Stop fucking laughing. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you fucking laughing? Oh my god. Have you seen, uh, you ever, you ever watch It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia? Uh, not really. Alright. Well, there's in a palace courtyard. There, there's this one scene where they're all just kind of like chilling in, um. Oh god, there's so much empty courtyard. This Shit. Yeah, there's the scene where we're all, um, were. They're making a show. And he and uh, one of them, Mac, is dressed up like really dramatically. And they're like, dude, like, what are you dressed up as? I was like, you guys just don't understand. You guys are going for laughs. I'm going for wows. And then he walks out and everyone starts laughing their ass off at him. And he's just like, fuck. <laughs> so I have to find all these relics. Mm -hmm. Place a team of guards. We can't risk open fighting in this part of the palace. We'd be surrounded before we get anywhere to the Emperor. Sneak up on patrolling guards and take them out without a fight, but we must have fully been discovered. I got a question. Yeah. How did these people end up finding these really dumb questions on this website? Because I do not want to keep finding these, uh... <laughs> to keep finding these, uh... Very strange, kind of heavy, politically... Like, heavy questions. I don't know. Oh my god. No, these are all just legitimate questions. I hate this website. <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? I saw. So I went to. The, I went to the. I went to the game section, and this guy's asking. Um. My friend one. My friend Billy wants to know whether he should go into the Air Force or college. Mm -hmm. So I'm assuming like he's talking about getting a um. A video game either based on the Air Force or a college simulator. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You got something to say about this one, Spike? I, I agree, although that, that's kind of a controversial stance to take, Spike. I suppose. <laughs> Air Force or college? Uh, this one guy just answered, best of luck. <laughs> this guy just answered, me. <laughs> Based on your questions, he can't qualify for either. <laughs> Wait a second, is, is, this guy, uh, is this guy asking some strange questions? What did you just say to me, you little bitch? <laughs> <laughs> I hate that copy pasta so much, except I actually love it. Actually, so much. Yo, Spike. We need to have a talk here, man. Look, look at me in the eyes, bro. Yes, hello. You gotta stop being so loud, dude. I don't know if the camera can hear you. He's licking me. I, 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 I feel like reading more fanfics because you're licking me. Stop doing this to me, Spike. How's this run going, by the way? I'm not paying attention. I think at all it's to it. doing fine. 
Could this be a could this be a first try? Possibly. Could this be a sight? One dragon eye! <gasps> What's that one again? It's one where we go through the maze. Oh, okay, fair enough, yeah. And I just get a bunch of free shit and hurt myself a lot. Is there any way you know I'm just gonna Google really dumb Yahoo answers. Here, pet spike every now and then to get it so he won't whine. Oh, yeah, he's like uh, the horses in Breath of the Wild. He's an attention whore. See? See that? Spike, you're a whore? I didn't know that. <laughs> <laughs> the most funny Yahoo questions. Hey, whoa, stop. Stop it. Cut it out. Yeah, stop looking. Jeez. <laughs> Spike! <laughs> I can't continue to read Yahoo questions if you're interrupting me. <laughs> Does looking at a picture of the sun hurt your eyes? <laughs> Well, Tom, what do you have to say about this? Ow, my eyes. Ooh. Have you ever looked at a picture of the sun before? I think is the answer we have to answer for this one. Um. I remember I did kind of have this question once. I drew a picture of a sun once. Oh, dude, like, you can't do that. That's like that's like a really bad weapon that you can use to, like, Some blind people. hurt people. Is, is, uh, is certain, can you not draw certain things? Like, obviously you can't draw the sun because it hurt people's eyes. You can't draw Muhammad. I was going to say, like, <laughs> a certain group of people would get a little mad if you drew their a god. Yeah, it's a prophet. Uh, oh, is it not the same? Their god's actually the same as the Christian god. Oh, okay. We have so much in common. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, if you draw Spike, you just lose your fingers. Yeah, of course. We have yet, we have yet to figure out why that one is. I've gotten it, something that might... It kind of ties into um, Yahoo Answers a little bit just because it's a dumb thing. Yeah, okay. What's the dumbest misconception you had as a child? So, I... Um, oh, I thought any bullet would kill you. Hmm. Like, getting shot would kill you. And uh, my, my favorite one... My favorite one was, uh, like, yeah, get, like getting, like... A submachine gun shot to the pinky. Mm -hmm. Like, you're, you're just dead. That's it. You're gone forever. Yeah, as you do. It's like, that That would just suck. And I always kept thinking, like, so then why do we make all of these bigger guns when the smaller guns do just as good? Duh. I should be a five-star general in the army at this point. Mm -hmm. Ducky. So uh, I'm, that try was... I'm trying to do some little freaking work in our work around here. Work around for the okay. Do you have any bad misconceptions that you had, uh, Tom? Um, so I had a misconception when I was about when I was very young till I was about maybe elementary to middle school, mm -hmm. where that I would make sure to never say the names of any um competitor fast food restaurant to the one I was at yeah because I thought they'd kick me out <laughs> <laughs> like if I was in McDonald's I would make sure if I had to say Burger King I would say it really quietly <laughs> because I didn't want to get kicked out of the store for mentioning Burger King how long did that like how long did you have this for until I was like I don't know like middle elementary middle schoolish oh, okay exactly. okay I thought you meant I was still, still a child. I, I just learned it last week, actually. <laughs> I was still a child. Child. <laughs> child. <laughs> Hello. Hello. You stinky dog. Go need a diaper, ugly. <laughs> there's, there's problems with this thing, but... Yep. It's not his fault. Okay, I think I might have messed this up. <laughs> like, to not get <laughs> yeah, caught. Yeah, wait, what was this workaround you were going for with this? I need to try to not get caught by these guys, which means I have to approach them from not the front. Okay. But the problem is is that they keep fucking turning in the wrong ways. <laughs> and those two are now lined up. So. Shit. Uh, so yeah, other misconceptions I had. I'm, I'm sure I have so many dumb ones. I, I was just someone who, like, didn't really notice, like, little things a lot. Like, uh, it, it took me, like, a couple of years ago, I just noticed how the word Fruit Loops was spelled. Mm -hmm. Like, fruit was spelled F-R-O-O-T. Mm -hmm. I was like... That is the craziest thing I've ever experienced in my entire life. Uh, fruit Loops is not spelled like normal fruit. Uh, fruit same. Loops also all taste the same. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I always knew that one. I was always confused as to why people were like, thought that was a super big revelation. It was like, wait, so did people like try, like, like with Skittles, sometimes you try separating them out to like different colors so you could have all the same colors at the same time? Skittles all taste, Skittles taste different. Yeah, yeah, right. But yeah, and you do that to separate out the flavors, like you separate them by color. Yeah. Sometimes, maybe you just eat them all at once. Wait, like, I don't actually know what happens if these guys catch me. <laughs> what I'm getting at is, did people also do that with Fruit Loops? Because I didn't. <laughs> I I never really was a huge fan of Fruit Loops. <sighs> I know. <sighs> by not liking them too much. I, I don't follow. Oh, because you're more fruity pebbles then. Pretty much. 
Steve Steve used we, to have a used to have a uh, hand soap that smelled like fruity pebbles, and, yeah. I, really, and I really enjoyed it. <laughs> were, were you th- were you ever there at uh, when we used to go to our local supermarket at three in the morning, buy cereal, go home and eat it? <laughs> uh, I don't believe so. Okay, I believe we were actually playing Eternal Sonata at the time. Let's see what happens if I do this. Oh, okay, yeah. he just turned around. He's done it. <laughs> Yeah I, yeah, I believe we were playing Eternal Sonata at the time, mm-hmm. and at one point we were just like, do you guys just want to go to local supermarket chain? Well, not exactly local. It's, it's a couple states wide. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, but I'll keep its name secret to protect its innocence. It's a place called Giant Eagle. <laughs> uh, so we all went to uh, Giant Eagle, and then uh, we said, uh, do you just want to get a bunch of cereal? And our first, my first response was, it's 3 a.m. And my second response was yes. <laughs> so we just got all that, went home, poured ourselves some cereal, and didn't get to bed until like 7 in the morning. And my God, were those high school days nice. <laughs> yep. Or maybe maybe we were even in college at that point. <laughs> I don't remember. What I'm getting at is, is we made very poor decisions about our sleep health. <laughs> Woo! What did you do? Oh, you got past all of them. And it's the maiden. I'm going to ask for longer life. Is that like, oh, max life, but... Yeah, oh God, yeah. Okay. It's disgusting. Yeah, you're disgusting. And I love you for that. <laughs> Isn't that right, Spike? Huh? Spike? You gonna talk to the camera at all? What's that, Spike? The Holocaust was exaggerated. Oh, Spike! <laughs> Spike! You can't say that, man! <laughs> God. <laughs> Pretty welcome Tom's white supremacist dog Spike onto the show. <laughs> uh, I got Rag- Ragnar's Cursed Blade. Spike, you can't give Tom Ragnar's Cursed Blade! <laughs> That's not cool. Spike. You just remind... When you say Spike, I just think of the Rugrats, honestly. Mm-hmm. Because it's just like, you know, oh, man, you're such adorable little, like, not looking like Spike at all. What the hell even was Spike? A dog. Well, thank you all so much for watching. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty much we peaked right there. <laughs> now, I was more asking, like, what kind of dog? Well, thank you all so much for watching. I think we pretty much hit our valley there. We went from our highest high to our lowest low so fast here on the show, 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 show. Yeah, pretty much. Um, What are you even doing right now? I'm getting more uh, max health. No, but you're, like, you're still on the same thing, right? I'm trying to retrieve these uh, relics so that I can get the um, so I could get the gold thing here, but it's also going to probably ruin my life. Because I'm a greed boy. <laughs> B-O-I. Mm-hmm. This and dog so is, um, crap. I forgot. This dog is not crap, Tom. Um, uh, I, for- I forgot to get the last relic, which is sitting right here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, there and pick that one up, and we're moving along, huh? Last curse. Every individual enemy inflicts 200 damage the first time they hit anyone. Oh, God. That's going to suck. All right. And one enemy does double damage, so one enemy will probably hit me for, like, 40 life. <laughs> what the fuck? That sucks. And now I get to move forward, and I believe this will be... This might be the end. Could be, yeah. Did, did the uh, challenges... Because things are up right now. Yeah, I was going to say, did the challenge in the top right change per turn? What's yeah, it has. Yeah, I'm in the Emperor's for? Chamber. Okay, cool. But we have, we have like, a move-up phase there. Yeah. Kill the Emperor. Mm-hmm. And you then immediately fail the previous uh, <laughs> campaign. This is no throne. This is a tomb. <laughs> oh, man. Ooh, my fingers are hurting. I'm getting scraped on the edge there. What's the charge bonus on this? Opposes and finishers. I am prior charge the weapon charge by four. But it's also... Yeah, I'll go ahead and wear that. Uh, okay, so... Yeah, so there's there's specific weapons that's good against, like, Empire stuff, right? Mm. Okay. And now it's just... Oh, God. It's Approaching all... the Emperor, a foot on the throne, the final blow. Okay. Ooh. So this is like a serious story thing. Let's Fuck. go to camp. <laughs> <laughs> this is a serious story thing. Let's set up shop out here for a minute. What equipment can I buy? A ring of food? Uh, Do you need not it? really worth it. Yeah. Um, yeah, you got... Wow, you actually have so much food. <laughs> yeah, I can choose a different companion, which I'm actually going to change to... Colbjorn. Is he the best, like, fighter with he he can knock people silly and let me hit for more. I assume I assume they all have their own perks in combat. Yeah. Yep. Is there is there one to fight like a big strong dude with? Mm-hmm. Or not really. Okay. It's just kind of whichever. Okay. Okay. Now the guards. Let's do it. All right. This one does not seem to take that long and doesn't seem to be that bad though. 
Oh, okay, we're... We've done it. Okay, good. First one done. You press on into the chamber and spy on the Emperor perched atop his throne. His frail body is clad in armor, spoiled with faded majesty. <laughs> While entering, your hubris has become tiresome. I thought I said threesome for a sec. I was like, nice. <laughs> She now lady left the Emperor's voice with pale face resting on the mother's shoulder and says, I have the Al Saldic in the realm. That's exactly what it said, yeah. Well, in course of company, I'm Alec the Bloody, Scalebreaker, and Mage Scourge. Mage Scourge, that's a good one. After all that, you believe you could kill me? A petty mercenary leading a broken mage, a, disheveled, a disavowed barbarian, a treacherous officer, and a blacksmith? <laughs> Scoff. The Empire. <laughs> Okay, here we All right, go. Yeah. This is the fight. Now let's do it. <laughs> so let's see. I don't really need to go here. Well, unless for some reason this changes. No, it doesn't. <laughs> <laughs> and let's see. I'm beating the shit out of you. Do I have the right account. inventory? That's, I'm going to be fighting emperor empires. Don't have anything else to go there. I don't have a better shield. And I have a bunch of curses. <laughs> bunch of fucking sick ass curses. I could like squeeze the innards of this dog onto Steve's laptop right now. You could, but you should not. <laughs> there he is, Emperor of Steel. <laughs> oh my god, yeah. Is, is he just the card? You get into there and it's actually like two dimensional, like he's a card I was going. Colbjorn flings one of his blades at the Emperor. <laughs> Come on, Colbjorn. Uh, Sharp and Gunfire. Okay. Estrella raises her pistol and fires at the Emperor's heart. He flinches but remains in All right. First petty tricks of a mage such as I. He takes a third step and releases missiles. Mal oh, look, all of my friends are here. Malakalypse is here. Malakalypse. Of course, any blade is powerful enough to wound you. Wound is found locked away, hidden and safe. In fact, if you'd keep it right in the palace, it would not. To ensure no one could even study it to understand its power. You've hired armies and mercenaries to scour lands for it. Party reaches the top of the stairs and approaches the throne. What if you don't even need to fight? <laughs> it draws a sacred sword, and yeah, this is the sword that we actually grabbed in the Emperor campaign <laughs> because he wanted because it would have been the, like the only thing to, that would be able to kill him. Stephen, and by Stephen I mean Tom. Mm -hmm. There's a snow run outside your house. Really? Sexy. If it's gonna, ooh, this might actually be bad. I think it might give me the sword. In which case, yeah, it'll probably equip the shield. Okay. Okay, you know what, I gained two bonus dice. Yeah, Tom, I think in this scenario you just need to get good. I don't think I can. <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I'm running. I'm running some numbers in my head right now, and I'm not seeing how that's going to uh, that's gonna work. Oh, all of them, even the four. All right, eighteen. Okay. So uh, yeah, we failed that one. Dealer reduces... Okay, the greater teeth as purple sparks fly from the sword's tip as you pierce the Emperor. The dealer reduces the gambit by 18. Okay. okay. And I lose 5 life. Oh, that's not bad. <laughs> Alright. Oh, so you need to just keep going until you hit 50, and you'll lose... No, you'll... until I reach the right number. I'm guessing well, you'll yeah, get but reduced it, again. It reduced by 18, from yeah. 50 to 30. Reduces the gambit target by 21. Oh, shit. And I lose 5 life. Yep, I mean, this is fine. This is fine. So now I have to roll 11 on five dice. <laughs> yeah, one, 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 one. He one. did it! How do we manage? How are we this good? It's so good, though! Sparks fly the blade, pierces the Emperor's magical bearer, and plunges into his chest. A burst of white light temporarily blinds you. Horrible screaming echoes through the throne room, and then it's all over. The white light fades. Was that it? Did I win? <laughs> Noise of pyrotechnics have alerted the guards to your presence. They gasp at the sight oh, of the okay. Emperor's corpse, sword buried in his chest. Okay, so now this is the fight we gotta do. I hope I get I get all of my partners. What the fuck? Oh, this is actually kind of hype right this now. This is a, this is a gangbang going on <laughs> right now. This is actually super cool. I am I am let's go. Let's. I always get super excited when stuff like this happens. Yeah, <laughs> especially when it's taken us this long to get to here. <laughs> yeah, I'm actually really excited right let's now. Let's go. All right. Yeah, come on, loading screen. We're fucking. <laughs> okay. Do I only have to fight four knights? Really? This is a royal guard. A wall of steel to protect the emperor. Just look right behind him and you see how much Oh, I get all of them. Him. Holy shit. Oh, and they're Let's all... Let's activate everyone's abilities immediately. Okay, this and is... And throw a grenade at them. Yeah, but like, these these shields, though. They, they all got they all got shields. Okay, wait, their shields are going down decently fast. Uh, And now let's see, let's see how fast their health goes down. Uh, uh. <laughs> uh, this doesn't seem that bad, but at the same time, your teammates are dying pretty quick. 
I can get a backup. Okay. I just want to focus on killing at least one of them. There you go. Okay. This is good. This is good. This is easy. This is the easiest shit in the Fazarkin world. What's the dog doing? Let me change questions. Where's the dog? I don't know. He might have left the room. You are correct in this assumption. Luckily, he saw me and decided to come back in the room. <laughs> I'm literally running around every now and then and just activating everyone's <laughs> abilities. So, I, I didn't know that you could activate abilities with them. Well, the, well, one of the abilities you're probably talking about is, like, charging through people to stun them? Yeah. Okay. That makes sense, then. You've not made much progress, Tom. But on the other hand, like... Oh, shit. Man. Okay. <laughs> is stuff supposed to just, like, slow down? No, that was me trying to throw a grenade at him. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. I was just like, whoa, what the fuck's going on here? Okay, killed another one. Wow, this 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 was a this was a very nice chill campaign. If this is the end of it, yeah, I think so. And then we have what's next? Uh, uh it should be judgment if we're going by the Arcana. Okay. And then after, and then the world. And then that's the end of the game. Okay, sweet. Yeah. <laughs> we should tell Steve how everything started going way better when he left. Yeah. How did how did we manage this? Two two tries after Steve left. Two campaigns done. Yep, and, and that's that should, it. That, that should be the ending of it. One should second. be the end of this campaign, unless we're incorrect completely. Yep. And and the emperor jumps back up, so like lol, J.K. Yeah, with his sword in hand. Wow, the final blow. You feel with the emperor dead, you expect to feel triumphant. Yet you feel nothing but dread. You see the same realization dawning on your commanding faces. Nothing will change. Burst of the hermit. There's one more. These cards have been played before your arrival. Your fate is determined well in advance, yet soon you will reach a place beyond even my kin. Find the dealer, learn his game, and you may yet change the course of land. Now run! <laughs> oh, do we have to uh, get out of here, too? So but look, we beat oh, the sun, okay. everybody. That, that's a moon. For beating the sun, we got Brilliant Plate and King's Crown and Soul Gem and Town of Corruption. But for getting the sun gold thing, we got Knight's Home. Is that good? I guess. I don't know. <laughs> Fucking, I don't know. So but look at that. Be we beat the sun. Be the yeah, one second. Texas Steven. Beat the sun. Two campaigns. Uh, two tries since you left. Two gold campaigns. <laughs> Steven confirmed anchor of Ramblin' Gamers. <laughs> Alright, thank you all so much for watching. We'll be back with Judgment next time. Next uh, time, it will be Judgment Day.